Oh, crap. We are outnumbered. What? You're fine. It's four against three. That can matter in this game. I'm scared. You'll be fine. Oh, God. Don't oh. be a little bitch. Oh, yeah. I'm awesome. That's why. The road to conquest is paved with auto battle. That is very, very, very... Um, is it a subcon named Bruticus? What do you expect? Uh, negative. <laughs> Pessimistic. Right. So let's talk about something else besides sitcoms. Um, so how's your life? Yeah. Okay, that ends that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... uh. I don't know, like, uh, anything lately you've been watching, or well, stuff? Oh yeah, might as well talk about this, um, how I feel about Naruto. <laughs> my, so like Sasuke. A, he always do that, He's the main character of Naruto, isn't he? I know that, but you don't have to keep pointing it out. <laughs> anyway, yeah, me and Jen are at an agreement at this point, where manga-wise, or at least majority of the series-wise, we're sort of indifferent, which is... Okay, continue, Jen. Oh, you well, bumped me, bitch. Chris became indifferent just recently. I became indifferent like a long time ago. For me, the, the problem, it's not bad. The problem is the fact that these last couple chapters especially, mostly, I'm, I'm preferring these chapters. And this is more specific to you because I don't know what's happening. Yeah. The inconsistency has been, first I went, has been really bad. First I went from frustrated to anger and slash annoyance. And then after that, I got, I got tired because I was angry, and then after that, because of tiredness, I became indifferent, which is, again, that's pretty bad. <laughs> because I feel like after the Neji Dai and Hinata slapping Naruto to get him back in his senses, the writing has just been um, repetitive. Um, Hold on, I'm having a flashback. See what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Annoying, right? <laughs> but yeah, um, that's how I felt. Like, everything about it... Uh, this final fight, it's just it's mostly rep it's just repetitiveness that, that annoys the living shit out of me. And it sucks to feel I, how I feel about this series now because I really did like it from the beginning. You've been following it for so long. Yeah, I followed it for so long. You had so much time invested. Time invested. In both the plot and the characters. Yeah. And it, I don't, I, it's not like I want this to happen, but it just happened. It just happened. And it, this, like, Trust me, when you get to the amount of animes that I've watched, this happens so frequently yeah, that you, it doesn't bother me. If you guys don't know, Jan has watched like w way, way more anime than I have ever. Okay, <laughs> if I had to explain, me and Scott individually, at least four times the amount. Than at me. least, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how many animes you would put a number? Double digits. Give a random number. What? Forty. Fifty. Okay, quadruple is a little, a little much. Well, two hundred. Maybe like well, 100 we, we, or 100. Let's just say, you're in the triple digits at least. <laughs> Easily. And, you know, I we had a, a discussion about what is worse. Oh, no. Having a series you really, really, really hate for whatever reason, or a series that you just happen to be indifferent about. I and still stick by with feeling indifferent is worse. Right. But in some cases, there's, there's exceptions to that. Because my <laughs> argument was down. like, when you get to my point, just because it's in, you're indifferent doesn't make it bad. It just – you don't have a you personal connection to it. Right. And that's fine because, you know, oh, just yeah, because funny. you don't have a personal connection doesn't mean it's a bad anime. No, you still have respect for it. Like, it did its job. It's just not tailored for me. It's yeah. not my demographic. I'm not the demographic or perhaps genre-wise I'm not the demographic. So that's right. fine and all. Right. But I, that's like saying one of the typical that, – that's like, okay, school days versus – Name an anime you, you were whatever about. Uh, the Mermaid Mafia episode. Anime, anime, like whatever. So you're telling me School Days was better by your argument. That That's what you're saying. Yes, in a way, because... Yeah, because I'll, just because it's more memorable doesn't well, make it well, better. Let me, let me think back. Let me think back. Maybe not the worst, the best example. Um, oh, shit. Because what the only thing you have argument-wise for... In my personal opinion, is that a bad anime is more memorable, but you're remembering it for all the wrong reasons, so that shouldn't even be a reason. Just because an anime is indifferent, I, I, at the end of the day, like, yeah, I mean, it wasn't yeah. exactly your best time that you spent, but it's not the, it, you didn't feel like you wasted your time. Right. Well, for me, I feel like if the anime can invoke any kind of emotion on you, Whatever, whatever the motion is, I'm pretty sure School Days was meant to just to piss you off. Well, yeah, of course. And it did its uh, job. It pissed me off to no end. But I got a satisfying ending though, so let's say that. Well, that was just like, yeah, that series is meant 
literally for the ending. Yeah. But again, like, come on, bitch. You you gotta understand, like, <laughs> some people like if you're going from, a, if you're gonna watch a medium of entertainment, right, just to watch whatever you want to watch, I get your argument. Right. That's, but I, I, that's where I'm going. But here's the thing, though, if you're in our positions, not just you, not just me, not just Scott. But as a group, Media Shinobi, where you're going to have to be objective, just because it didn't emotionally attach to you, you have to push that subjectiveness away in order to properly take it in. Mm -hmm. And yeah, again, like I said, yeah, I didn't really care for this anime, but it wasn't bad. I would take this over an anime I hate all day because, again, when you hate it, you yeah. know the exact reasons why you hate it. This is assuming that you're being objective about it and not just based on personal down. taste. But if you hate it for all the... Oh. Reasons that are objective, that is ten times worse than something it's, you're indifferent to. Kind of huh. Because indifference just yeah, means, yeah, the yeah, absence of emotion, but that's not necessarily I bad. Because if we're talking about human beings, then it's bad. Like, I know. someone that invokes yeah, anger yeah, onto you, this, by definition, like... I think the Drake and Josh episode, where Drake, where Josh was, yeah, and like, after a while, he just car, was whenever done whenever with Drake. Well... That one's a little I bit. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I know the episode you're talking about. He was like, "I'm just, I'm I done with you." Yeah. Time. Yeah, like. I got him off life. That was like what happened with you and Naruto, kind of in a sense, but not to that degree. You're still reading it. No, I, I kind of. Oh, you're gonna stop? Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, this is new to me. I didn't know that. I thought you just said you became indifferent. I didn't know you would stop. Yeah, if anything else, I'll watch uh, one of the reviews I follow. Well, right. It's a arena draft. Because I, well, I heard you say stop, but I thought you just like like for a little Oh no, break. I think I'm gonna just. Gonna I didn't. I didn't know it was indefinitely. Oh, I'm not gonna say indefinitely. I'm just, I'm indefinitely not, means just like there's no defined answer as to when you're gonna come back. Like, I'll probably just. Like, if, if the reviewer I'm watching on YouTube says something big happened, yeah, I'll look it up, but I won't be like because usually at first before I used to like every, it comes out every Wednesday. And you that's the first thing. First, yeah, the first thing I do in every Wednesday. Yeah, right. but now I'm just gonna be like, yeah, I don't want to. Rather than watch a funny video about someone reviewing, then watch read a chapter that I'm indifferent to. So, let's say we're gonna use Naruto as an example. Then Naruto versus School Days. Uh, uh, that's really bad if you're saying School Days is better. No, 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 no. no. If we're just taking it from the, it's like literally something you're indifferent to, to something you're freaking. You hate. Right. Because even though it was the intention. This guy followed me! Holy shit! Don't worry, no healer. Just fuck him up. Yeah, so there you go. Okay. Um, <laughs> calm down. Calm thy tits down. <laughs> That's mine. If my tits yes, want to be as perky as ever, <laughs> well, I'm gonna uh, let them happen. <laughs> look, at my, look at my perky jits, Dan. Look hey, hey the room is cold. <laughs> okay. It's, it's just say. I'm just kidding. Place. But, um. I mean, yeah, I do, admi I do admit it. School days versus Narcos. No, I know, but I was saying something after that. When. Uh, you totally agree. Pokemon, well, the whole point of the argument is. Oh my God! Uh, shoot him. He had a uh, freaking turret yeah, and a backup. I was wondering what that. You know what was. You didn't know what that was. Yeah. Oh. I don't play this game. I thought you really. Um, I'm here down. watching <laughs> things transform as they go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I can't tell what's a Decepticon with a Medi Megatron with a Unicron or some you other. You, you should know who Unicron is. That's that's the plant. Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding though. It's a planet thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. That should be a movie. The half of the movies didn't transform me. It's still going. But um, no. What my argument is, like, like think about it. Just despite the, you know, the the issues you have with the series, it's not bad. So why should your personal feelings deter you from making an objective review? I see where you're going with it. I see it. Like if we're talking about per like if we're animes that I like and dislike, that's fine. Right. You, your your argument wins. But if we're talking about just what makes an anime good or bad, to some degree you have to separate this level of subjectiveness. Because if I go with animes I like and dislike, half of the animes I've watched tossed to the trash. So, regardless of whether they're good or bad. Depending on that's all that's all subjective though. You perceive it's good or bad. But here's the thing. It's all about being as objective as possible. Of course, it's still subjective. There's no such thing as an objective review. It's always subjective. It's just how subjective can you be or not be. Like right now, what uh, what I define as 
like my personal taste is psychological thrillers. If I'm just going based on my taste, that means romance is bad. That means fucking uh, action is bad. That freaking like historical animes are bad. No, no I, I don't want to be that guy. So that's why I'm like, are, are you trying to say based on your argument? Because that you're, you're going with an overall general. This is a general question. Therefore, your answer is general. So you're saying an anime that is worse and something that you truly hate is better than an anime that you're indifferent to, despite like the fact that you acknowledge that okay, it might not be my taste in anime. Yeah, I'm not the demographic. Any of that stuff. Oh. That's how it, it depends. On, it kind of depends on the level of hate and the level of well, indifference yeah, I'm, to I'm, that. I'm, it's not black and white. There's a lot of gray. Yeah. But um, you know, this is an overly general. Like question. how I f like how I feel it could be like you think Naruto over the school days. Well, it's. I would say that's a stretch to compare to a verse of those two. Because well, yes, you, know. you have to take into consideration the number of episodes and stuff like that. So that's why we're going to use your previous example, the the mermaid thing. Okay, mermaid thing. Because it wasn't bad. It had its funny moments. Yeah, but I feel like I didn't get much out of it, though. If anything else. Like, the funny so you rather have more of negative than not much of a decent. Not even good or bad, just average. Ugh, that's hard because the problem with the mermaid is just... Because the only thing I always argue about the fact that it's good about watching School Days is the fact that when you control other people, like what I did with you. What, what do you mean? Hey, uh, you, you should watch this anime. It's uh, a great anime. Uh, awesome. You're going to love the character. Excellent character development, plot development. No, you didn't even say that. You just said you'll like it. Yeah, yeah, you'll like it. You'll, you'll definitely like it. Me and Scott, we were just like, oh, okay, apparently this guy doesn't know us well enough to tell that we were being sarcastic as fuck. <laughs> because we I had a feeling you were, but I just went with this. Yeah. But um, I, I man, were you wrong? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> but uh, yeah, see, that's what I'm pointing out. Like um, an anime that, regardless of whether, like, okay, if it was intentional, it's not as bad, mm -hmm. because that's what it's meant to. That's being objective because you're taking into consideration the author's <laughs> intention, and based on its execution, did they follow up to what they try to do? Your standards. Yes. Like, what do you expect? That's why, uh, again, when it comes to good review, we have to really push our taste yeah, as no, far away as possible. Right. That's why I I don't just watch psycholo uh, psychological. Th I'll be bored. I would really be bored. Var it's variety is spice of life. You gotta variety like is a spice of life. I love that analogy. Yeah, I can, I I did do a kind of like a little speech on that analogy for a class one time. It was awesome. I I felt it was such an easy one because. Yeah, because it's an easy one because it's so true. Yeah. You can't just – it's like you just can't watch one thing forever and ever. You have to, you know, expand your taste, you know. It's like being in America forever. I'm not saying you can't live there forever. I'm saying that, you know, go to Russia, China, Japan, Europe. Somewhere. Just outside become the US. More world, become more worldly. Become more aware of other cultures and understand that they're different and there's no technical better or worse. This is just what you perform, uh, prefer more. And right. that's the analogy I use in anime. Really? That's the, there, I, I believe there's no genre that's above others. Each genre has their own unique traits that makes that genre what that genre is. Whether it be good or bad. That's why in my, li my list of top five animes right now, no particular order, and it, it's just current right now. I I didn't take it seriously. It's just what r comes to my mind. Oh, that there's a psychological thriller one. There's yeah, a romance one. There's slice of life. I'm pretty sure. Slice of life historical. That is very different from most people who's like Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, Fairy Tale, and then uh, uh, <laughs> some other show that's like that. <laughs> this is like, like, dude. This is like I always say to people, you, you need to watch more. Anime. Because if if if, if, if you're not, if, there's a difference between having just one of them on your list and then having the big three, all of them yeah. as your top because five. Even though I don't watch Bleacher One Piece, I have a feeling they're not that. Oh. Well, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. I, that bit is just shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I, I, no, I, I, they're good. Smell, they're they're very good. They're good for their art, but they're not the best animes, um, I would say. Because like, there's so much more out there. Yeah. There just yeah. is. Like I remember I told you that guy who I met who just 
the, he wouldn't he don't he doesn't watch anything but Naruto. Yes, I remember, but elaborate for everybody. We went to the guy I had in class. He pretty much said that oh, the only thing I watch is Naruto. No, I don't. I'm not gonna hate on the guy because you know he's a pretty he's a cool guy. Hating on the guy. But I just feel like. I feel like he should expand his horizons, and I don't, I'm not gonna. I never. I, to, I told him like I, I was positive. Like, maybe we should you know watch other anime. He's like, no nah, man, I'm just gonna watch Naruto. And I'm just like the same. There's animes that are just as good and better did it in shorter amount of episodes without flashbacks. And the fillers. And the fillers and the episode of just running and having a flashback just to realize when she do a fist bump. <laughs> and then that's the end of that episode. And that was the last episode I watched. I'm like, nope. <laughs> wait, th wait, that was a real episode? This is what happened. I told you guys this a long time ago. I know, ago. I forgot. I know, I'm going to elaborate. Uh, basically, it was an episode of Naruto and Killer B running in the forest. They were trying to... I think it was after they had their skirmish with Tsunade and A. It's warrior. And it's what happened was warrior. Naruto kind warrior. of looked to the distance. Oh, oh, great. Another flashback. Warrior. And then he had a flashback, and then literally five seconds before the episode ends, he looks back, looks at Killer B. Let's do this. Fist bump. All right. Episode, episode over. I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a waste of an episode. But um, we will continue with this conversation again in the next video. Tune so, in. Bye. Uh,